Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. <laughs> Stripes is freaking out. Ah, she's freaking out. Kitty, 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 kitty. Anyway, it's been a while since I've uh, since I turned on Disguise Three. That's because I just got Disguise Five. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to Disguise Three: Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we cleared Chapter 3, Mal rescued Beryl, and became the student president of the freshman class. And Stripes is still freaking out about something. What's up, kitty, huh? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What's that kitty looking at? He's so cute. Anyway, we got a thing. We got, we got all our Deutertrons. <laughs> Aww, she's so adorable. Let's go. Young master. <laughs> what is it, Jeffrey? I thought this might happen, so I've searched for a class that may pertain to this crush. When did you... what kind of class is it? It is a class on how to charm and captivate people. <laughs> Reading a web comic, huh, Annie? That sounds suspicious. Crushes are more like literary Look who it and is. Look who it is, Stripes. It's Annie. He's watching. Don't explain. I already know what it is. It's a trick that many great demons use. I've read about it time after time in the comics. So a crush is when you show off glittery treasure and capture your dazzled opponent and then scare them till their hearts race. I think that's more along the lines of seduction. But that's just my opinion. Which then produces a sense of desire. That is the energy of an evil crush. How is that freaking little life? So happy. So happy as she is. Um, I think charm and captivate people is actually still closer. Wait, I'm wrong? That's impossible. It's an answer produced by my 1.8 million EQ. There's a how to captivate people class next period. Would you like to attend it? Are you sure you didn't plan this whole thing out? Jeffrey, are you telling me to go to class? Yes. Yes, young master. What are you conspiring to do? You're usually the one who dissuades me from doing anything remotely academic. Times sure have changed. <laughs> I, I would never conspire. Now that you are number one by skill and position, that false hero title is only a burden. risk allowing anything <laughs> to change your heart for any reason. Such a useless, dirty, garbage title should be removed as soon as possible. That's harsh. <laughs> hmm, I completely 
agree with you. I can't stand keeping this fake hero title much longer. Let's go, fake hero. We must solve the mechanism to crush and use it to open my heart and withdraw your title. I'm pretty sure it only works if you have a crush on the other person, Mao. Just saying. Yes, sir. How to captivate someone, huh? I wonder if I can do it too. <laughs> I bet you just thought, I wonder if I can do it too. Huh? No, no I never. There's no use denying it. I know you want to captivate your princess and do naughty stuff like marrying her. <laughs> I think you and Caliborn would get along great. Mary? How, how in there? You both have strange ideas of what is perverted. <laughs> Are you sure? Your one-way wish could finally come true, you know? You could do anything to your princess. You can go shopping in matching outfits, drink with two straws from the same cup, or even get her to make you a okay, sandwich. Okay, that's just sexist, Mal. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> we all want that sandwich. <laughs> Fine then, you can learn as much as you'd like. No, I wasn't thinking about... Then, do you want to stay here? I'll follow you for life, sir. <laughs> Posey makes what he's saying, I just does not match his tone. <laughs> <coughs> That's right, demons should never hold back. Aww. Always do whatever you want to. <laughs> Ooh, you get that stretch. You get that stretch. You're just stretching that kitty paw. I think she doesn't like that. <laughs> she is not a big fan of having her paws touched. This big isn't because I want to do stuff to the princess. No, no, no. It's all because I need to get Mao to open his heart. Not because I'm interested in that. So habit. you want Mal to have a crush on you is what you're saying. Jeff, <laughs> yes, young master. But please, be careful along the way. It seems the teachers have set up many traps to prevent students from attending. Don't class. you just love this high school? Uh, teachers shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> That's the difference between a normal teacher and a demon one. However, this is interesting. It's a demon's nature to want to go where they're told not to. <laughs> I smell a paradox. I'll show them I can take a class. <laughs> mm. The news of Mao attending class <coughs> as quickly as a highly modified hyperdrive. Everyone at Evil Academy knew in the blink of Oh, there goes his position as number one honor student. Hey, have you heard the news? A friend of a friend told me that Mao's going to class now. No way! Isn't that, like, bad? <laughs> the number one honor student is going to class? What a scandal! This is bad! I must do whatever I can to stop it! Boz is gonna go to class? What the Jehoshaphat? I gotta let everyone know. <laughs> You're not even one of the Vato bros. Why do you have a Mexican accent? Freezing Soul! Let's go! Hmm. I think Mao also wants to open his heart. But why won't it open? It's so tightly shut. He's stubborn compared to other demons. His guard is always up. He completely rejects interaction with others. It's as if his heart's been hurt. Hmm. Trauma? Hmm. The only thing I can think of is his devastatingly bad relationship he had with his father. Could a demon be hurt so badly that they'd be traumatized? Probably not. I shall now bring your attention to the story of Laharl and his mother. Huh? What are you staring at? Planning to draw graffiti on my face? Actually, uh, to come to think of it, in the uh, concept art, Mal was originally going to be the child of Laharl and Flan, so, uh, wrap your head around that for a bit. Yes! I mean, no! By the way, are we really headed to the classroom? It seems... 
Get used to it already. This is the Netherworld. Hmm? People are already there? She's Boss. taking a kitty bath. Yes, she is. Yes, she What's is. What's going on, guys? Coming up with an evil plot? Time to impress. Boss, we happen to hear this bad rumor going around, Weddle. Rumors are flying everywhere about how you're going to tank glass, Ons. It's not true, is it, boss? Please tell us it's a lie. It's true. I will attend class. You serious? You know what this means, Holmes? If the freshman class leader does something like this <coughs> in class, he's gonna bring shame to everyone and say, please don't do this. For all our freshmen's sake. Shut up! You'll never understand my great plan anyway. Clear the way. We can't do that. It's our job as servants to stop our boss from making a mistake. If you really gotta go, then you're gonna have to go to us, Widow. <coughs> you guys. And since your precious servants are risking their lives to stop you, you're not gonna go, right? Yup, yup. I believe in you, boss. I knew you would understand us, right, boss? Huh? What are you talking about? You said I could go through you, right? <laughs> well, wait a minute, boss. You're supposed to say something like, ah, I was wrong, Holmes, and give up. As demons, we should never do what we're supposed to. Betraying what is expected of us is what makes the world go In around. other words, what Mao is really saying is, Holmes, smell you later. Eh. Man, our whole talking sense plan ended in failure. But that's why you're our leader. You're so cold hearted. Demonic! But that doesn't mean we're gonna just let you through, Widow. It's your turn, teachers! Here, Miss Machka. No, dear. Don't cause us any trouble by going to class, okay? Now listen up! You guys are demons! There's no need for demons to be diligently studying their schoolwork! <laughs> Teachers? As in real teachers? Why are you trying to stop students from going to class? Everyone, listen carefully. You see, we teachers are <coughs> too tired and lazy to be holding classes. I'm being honest here. We don't want to deal with students! <laughs> That's pretty forthcoming. Teacher, your passionate degree struck me right to the heart, I say. Yeah. We know how you feel, Holmes. We'll never go to class again. Ooh, you're such good boys. This is the ultimate relaxation. That sounds dirty. Isn't it too relaxed, don't you think? That was a nice speech. But I have stuff to do. I won't go easy on anyone who tries to stop me, teachers included. Oh, so you won't obey me. Bad boys need to be punished. <laughs> right! Corporal punishment it is! <coughs> Abuse is my favorite <coughs> privilege. Now, everyone stand in a single fire! Well, time for an incident! Uh, why is Mew Mew at the... 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 the, 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 the whatever. Hi. Let's see, we gotta, uh, gotta, you know what we gotta do? Do this. I did it. That gives us a weak foe. Ooh. I could follow up on that by tossing this into the red area, but that would be pretty silly. Instead, let's send Sheng Long out there to prove that people don't stand a chance against us. <sighs> he did a hilarious job of standing a chance against us. This worries me.
play. To God. To God. You also did a hilarious job of standing a chance. Now I am worried. Well, that happened. You guys have a lot of HP. This worries me. Here I go. Hey. Attack. That didn't do what it, quite what I thought it would do. This could be bad. Let's, uh... One final gambit to get, uh... Uh... Right. Okay, then. This is the end! Oh, wait. This is the end! Stop! Stop! There we go. Alright, the thing with wood golems is they recover HP every turn, like so. Against the odds, he chooses to fight. Okay. You're gonna die. That was pretty solid. <laughs> Oops! I was violent to my teachers! My honor student level went up again! That would be the perfect time for the honor quotient dialogue to show up, but it did not. I ain't teaching no classes! <coughs> you understand me? Oh yeah, I think the uh, I think the DualShock 4 also works with the, the PS really the TV, feeling. maybe. But I'm gonna stick with my There's DualShock no 3 for now. Stop my evil brain and blood so dashes at Evil Academy! <laughs> what bravery! Those were wonderful attacks, Mao. I might come back, asking for more. Well. But remember, you have quite a few fearful superiors that you haven't met at this school yet. What? what? Like who? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Look forward to the latter half. Boss! You can't go, I say! Boss, don't go to class, Holmes! Boss, think it over, Whittle! Get away from me! I must go to the classroom and learn the secrets of Crush! Boss! Come back! 
I mean, it's pretty simple now. First you crush it, then you add it to the heap. So much trouble just to go to class. It's not calculus. Status has a lot of mana. Fox said he was having a lot of trouble with this map. Uh, issue is these guys just keep on coming. Um, I need to think. Last resort, dude. Oh, why? He was facing the wrong way. Dang it. I'm dumb. And this is when things go horribly wrong. Yeah. Dang it. There we go. That's better. care of all of the geo effects, but uh, R.I.P. Almaz, I guess. That's hilariously fail-tastic. Oh, oh yeah, Gunners, during combo, next ally to attack has a 100% crit rate. It's the uh, fly in action. Everybody be going down, I guess. Mega foyer. Except you will resist fire by a lot. So it may not be the wisest course of action. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try though. What's this? Oh. Alright, this could get bad. I think this got bad. Oh, 
accomplish, but I guess we'll see. very bad for our cause. Just as I expected. Yep, Red Mage is dead. Strategy. Awesome! I can now get doggy. Also, I gotta revive my ent basically my entire team. But hey, I beat that map on my first try. I was slightly worried about it because Fox was having so much trouble on his playthrough. But things went better than expected. Here, Alma, as you can have a thing. You can also have this thing.
Anyway. I have quite a lot of cash. Also, Mal, your face is kind of clipping through the, uh, the thing. Not entirely sure how to feel about that. I think I should go to class and uh, raise the item, the product rank. Attention. Attention. Alright, a new teacher. Miss Iko. No idea what she improves. Yeah, you know what, Sheng Long, you do it. More expensive stuff. I think I'm going to save my game after that. Eternal Teardrop! <coughs> it's a princess! <laughs> A very trigger happy princess. Oh no, oh no! My first day at a new school, and I've already cast a friend into the darkness! <laughs> I all curled up in a ball. That's oh no! She's surrounded by demons. I have to. I help think her. she'll be fine, Almaz. Huh? What's got a weakling like you all aggressive for all of a sudden? Mew. Wait right there! I'm going to rescue you right now. <coughs> huh? A new enemy? Yeah. What? Who didn't see that coming? R.I.P. Almaz. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm such a terrifying killing machine by nature. I... <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> oh, a killing machine. So, do you come here often? Oh, 
Wait, Lord Mal, we're still going to class, right? We better hurry. Oh, you're still alive. You sound disappointed. You're going to class? I was on my way to class too. Might we be classmates, perhaps? Sapphire Rodanite. I'm transferring to Evil Academy today. I'm your new friend. I just moved here, so I barely know anything about this school. Oh, there goes the kitty. Time to focus on my beautiful face again. Of course. It'll be my pleasure, Princess. Princess? Your change in attitude, red face, sudden spike in body temp and heart rate? She must be the... Wait, Lord Mao! Please keep my identity a secret from the princess. So, she is your princess. What a coincidence running into her right now. But what is your need to fluster? Aren't you happy? This situation is, as the saying goes, a moth to the flame. Well, I'm happy I got to meet her, but I can't face her in this condition. Are you saying that becoming <coughs> a demon is shameful to you? Hmm, you humans care about such weird things. Fine, I will stay quiet for you, but in return... In return? Fake hero, you must forever be my servant. That is cool. Huh? <laughs> Did you think asking a demon for a favor wouldn't cost you? Live and learn. You have a lifetime to regret it. Either way, I'm still his servant. Once I'm back to normal, everything should work out. Eh, I'll just lie. <laughs> All right, I promise. I'll be your servant forever. That's what you say. But you plan on running away the moment you become human again, don't you? Oh, snap. Um, uh, no, of course not. One of Rare's, uh, Mal's rare <laughs> moments like of I genre anyway. savvy. I just wanted to test your loyalty. Uh, did I just make Mal's heart even more closed up? All because I'm not used to lying, but did it anyway? You're wasting our time. Onward to the classroom! Done with your secret chit-chat? <laughs> Princess? You're still here? Come on now, classmates. We're gonna be late for class. Sapphire, join the party! Oh, hey, I'll allow servants to join, but what's with this friend thing? Don't you think it might be quite difficult for you to overcome this situation alone? There's too many of them. We might not make it to class. <sighs> That's what I thought. Now let us fight them together. Oh no, I have to protect the princess. Almas, you can do it. Now's the time to squeeze out every bit of courage. Protect the princess with my life. <laughs> enemy level up time any not times 10 that would be ridiculous we want to get rid of this geo symbol first fortunately for us we have a new party member sapphire hey! 
pray. Dear God. Here I go. There. You're going down, dude. Smell you later. Yeah, Come yeah, on. Gary. Here I, go. I read a million times. Here I go. Yeah. Okay, at the thing. Sorry, just theorizing about this guy of five. It's probably the fact that I am less than a fifth of the way through a story. Anyway, let's see what kind of stuff Sapphire has with her. Virgin Innocence. Punish those who harm a girl's innocent heart. But since these guys are immune to ice, it's kind of useless. nearly as hard as the last map. We can now make war slugs. What a reckless princess you are. Why is a human attending a school in the netherworld anyway? Princesses have been kidnapped by the overlord since ancient times. But waiting around isn't in my nature. That's why I've decided to defeat the overlord before I get kidnapped. Kill or be killed, right? Uh-oh. Somebody's been taking lessons from Flowey. So, to learn more about demons, I applied to Evil Academy. They say you've got to enter the tiger's den to steal her cub. What kind of saying is that? Huh? That's a different story from the one I heard. <coughs> and you plan to win against the Overlord? <laughs> it's far too impossible for a human princess, I would think. <laughs> Just because I'm a princess doesn't mean I'm very ladylike. I'm a tad more robust than most princesses. <laughs> You're quite interesting for a human. All right, you'll make an excellent specimen. You may also be my servant. 
Wait a sec. What's this about a specimen? It's more convenient to keep her nearby to analyze your crush energy. <laughs> Depending on how things go, it might be a good idea for me to have a crush on this girl as well. <laughs> <laughs> you think you have a choice? Hey, princess! <laughs> Indeed. Let us. I don't know. By the way, She's more so robust well than most of the girls in Disgaea, really aside demon? from maybe Rosalind. It seems your title says hero. Oh, don't mind that. I got it to beat the Overlord, but it turned out to be useless. I'm trying to get rid of it. To beat the Overlord? It seems we'll be getting along fine. As we both share the same goals, we should mingle more. <laughs> Lord Mao and the princess? Mingling? <laughs> well, there goes Almaz's ship. What? Is there a problem? The ship sails in the morning. <laughs> Looks like I won't even have to plot a scheme to get this crush energy. How do you like them apples, fake hero? <coughs> <laughs> Demons are so tricky. Mal? What are you doing in class? I was interested in how to captivate people. You're studying on your own, even when there's no teacher? What a terribly crazy delinquent you are! My lady, this many students? I didn't think anyone other than us attended class. You thought wrong. This is an unprecedented attendance rate. It's a miracle it ever exceeded 10%. Huh. No teachers. Not many students. This classroom breakdown is fairly what I had expected from demons. Hmm? Who are you? I haven't seen your face around here. Might you be the rumored transfer student? But you're with Mao. They're dating! Oh, aren't you a cutesy little demon? So small. You're like a little snow fairy. Oh, man. I'm not small. I just have a big heart. So now what? What's with the sparkly eyes? Don't come any closer to me. But she's so cute! Your obstinate personality makes you even cuter to see such a cutesy demon i'm deeply impressed if we don't touch me don't hug me i'm not a doll you know i can't breathe <laughs> <laughs> my lady please be all right <sighs> could this possibly be one of the 48 affection skills embrace that was a bit sudden at Princess Kelly's point, <laughs> excited now. You see, the princess loves cutesy things more than anything. <laughs> anyway, whenever she sees something cutesy, her natural reflex is for her to act like that. Hmm, being the one receiving this sudden excitement must be horrible. It's downright bothersome. You're the one to talk. I bet she likes kitties. Kitties are cute. <laughs> With my studies, go outside, <laughs> will ya? Calling the trope by name, are we, Annie? Oh, excuse my actions. I won't bother you again, so can I stay in this class with you? You better not interfere anymore. The good part's about to start. Oh. Good part? How to captivate someone, right? What kind of ability could I'm this calling be? it Tink is a teacher. Just watch! It's about to start! I was now incorrect. Class, all eyes on the TV. I'll teach you my special pose to make anyone your prisoner of love. My 1.8 million EQ, I shall chart this mechanism to completion! Sh shut up and watch! 
Now, thrust out your butt, and we're gonna move it smoothly. One, two, one, two. Wiggle, wiggle, twist, twist. Watching this teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, the origin of twerking. What is this sense of euphoria? I've never felt such a twinkling in my chest. <laughs> so this is what a crisis oh, at least is like. they didn't feel a didn't tinkling somewhere else. The strength of love <laughs> energy. Well, actually, I think it's just a natural phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> Now everyone together. Okay. One, two, one. How much are you willing to bet that there's fan art of this somewhere? <laughs> like this, right? Like this. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Pretty good move. <laughs> so this is a demon class? Seems like it. I'm starting to get used to it though. <laughs> Right, I got it. Now the energy of the crush is mine. This is perfect. My heart is open. Now let us. You're kind of jumping the conclusions again, there, Mal. Don't you need to have a crush on somebody in order to? Yes, our plans are moving smoothly. More than half of the freshmen are already within our grasp. The rest will be up to the lower rank officers. I will begin investigating the sophomores with more severe resistance. Yes, understood. All for our leader. Hmm. Curious. Hey there, Sapphire! How's it going? We'll be back after this commercial break. Chiron the transfer. He went to the wrong classroom. Don't you just hate it when that happens? That was a thing. We are now back from this commercial break. <laughs> <coughs> wow, we're entering Sir Mao's heart? A demon's heart. I'm so curious. Stop with that annoying, hopeful look in your eyes. You never said anything about taking you. <laughs> Princess, please go back to the human world. Oh, you finally decided to make yourself useful. Now, Rare. Why are you telling me to go home all of a sudden? The Netherworld is not the easy-going place you think it might be. If you don't want to die, please go back to the human world. Stop following us. Ah, I am impressed. Indeed, I feel the same way. You say some good things every once in a while. Mr. Jeffrey! It's such a nuisance to have more weirdos, weirdos. fucking around the young master. How Please, dare you! All of you. You just casually included me in that, didn't you? Anyway, we demons and you humans live in completely different worlds. To be honest, you're disturbing... <laughs> Don't argue with me. I am interested in a demon's heart. I am going with you. <laughs> I didn't expect a human to be this forceful beyond calculations. Now what? <sighs> hey, you still alive? Princess, the princess, she touched me. I can die without regrets now. <laughs> No, not yet. If I die here, who will protect her from danger? Well, me. That's who. That's right. With her here, my courage is a million times stronger. I am the man who will fight for her honor. Writhing in pain, yet smiling happily on the ground. That man's got skill. Anyway, I'm going ahead too. Jeez, why can the princess walk right into my heart without permission too? 
Ah, it must be because my heart's opened up from the crush lesson. So this is a crush. What mighty power. <laughs> now, Dad is nothing! I'm surprised he showed up to class. And that's what this is all about. A crush, huh? Mal's got his eyes on a terrible thing. <laughs> the greatest admiration us badasses can give! The ultimate heart rush! <coughs> so, fake hero, do you think Mal's heart is open? <coughs> Probably not, not sure it's open. Probably? It didn't even open with a dragon egg. It can't be that easy for him. I need to bring back the princess, quick! All that aside, it looks like your title's changed. <laughs> oh, not again! And this time it's Demon Lover? Oh no! I need to return to normal and take the princess back to the human world. Time's running out! With the princess? You knew her from before? Well, that's, um... Oh! Are you blushing? I saw that in an encyclopedia. Could it possibly be that you have a crush on the princess? Ding, 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 ding. Raspberry wins a cookie. Yeah, um, yes. But it's a secret, okay? Whoa, cool! This is my first time seeing it for real! Alive! <laughs> Okay, all right, but you gotta keep it a secret, okay? I'm the number one badass of this school. Of course I'll keep a secret. I would like to help you too, but I've got class. Good luck, fake hero. I'll cheer you on from the shadows. Okay, I'll be all right. With the princess, I can be strong. That's the power of a crush. You're late! Over here, hurry! You boys are going to guide me through the insides of this heart, right? Fake hero, I will begin programming the simulation for the love mechanism what? now. I need to concentrate, so that leaves you to take care of the princess. Huh? Oh, okay. With pleasure. Should equip some other things on her too. Let's see. Um, Imperial weight and uh, sure, straw hat, I guess.
some point I think I need to get new weapons for our Mao and Almaz. Let's go with Miso. happens sometimes like can get stuck in your heart is trauma and traumas like totally don't disappear easily the feeling of guilt is similar it, like stains Armor piercing. Welcome back, Annie. We went back into Mao's heart now that Mao has learned to twerk. It makes sense in context. <laughs> Gonna go try and get that fake hero title again. Also, I am lamenting over my lack of sword options for Mao and Almaz, but that's fine for now. Let's go. Murderous intent. Identity at all, do you? Huh? That's not true. Ah, don't go touching random things, Princess. <sighs> oh. Oh. A demon's heart is so interesting. Are there hints to beating the Overlord? <laughs> I don't like the Princess walking <coughs> around my heart. Is it because my heart is open? Is this love? It's terrifying. Whatever you think, it's not love. <laughs> huh? What's this drill thing? Oh, that's... Don't touch it! Don't you dare flip that switch! Switch? This clicky thing? Why would you do that? <laughs> no, I don't... Not a hero. <laughs> Another rejection. It's too early, it seems. Dad. Dad! Where's your super move century killer? Not good. Still captured there. It can't be helped then. I'll just have to work it steadily through games. Hmm. But before that, I should hmm. test out this new drug and... 
<laughs> uh, still, no good. A little more newt hiccups might make it closer to a hearty laugh. <laughs> Please, endure this a bit longer. This is all preparation for the day you become a great overlord, young master. So, let me get this straight. Mal's dad didn't use his century killer against a certain hero. <laughs> hmm. Also, Jeffrey's been experimenting on mm, us. I thought I was missing bits of my memory. Oh, that Jeffrey, he's been experimenting with me. It looked fun. And I thought Mr. Jeffrey was the only trustworthy one. I'm shocked. Huh? Trustworthy? I never trusted anyone from the start. Jeffrey's always been rather suspicious. I'm telling you, Mal, he's gonna kill all of us. The butler always does that. He hides from me and does some <coughs> sneaky stuff. <coughs> there was one time he disappeared for a whole year. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Sir Mal? Are you crying? Fool, why would I cry? I've known of his secret maneuvers for a long time. I don't feel anything. Huh? Usually I'd expect him to appear and give excuses, but... He's not around. <laughs> of course not. Betrayal of this sort happens every day in the netherworld. And no, I'm not crying. All right, I won't bring it up again. I'm the heir to this netherworld. I will never cry. Heir to the netherworld? Does that mean your father is... That's right. The strongest, most evil ruler, the Overlord. So that means you're trying to beat your own father and take over as the new Overlord? Indeed. No doubt I will become the next Overlord. Hmm. Should I kill him before he assumes the position <laughs> of the Overlord? Huh. No, wait. It may be more effective to strike after he's winded from the battle against the current Overlord. Either way, first to strike, first to win. I must beat them before they beat me. Winning is everything. Hmm, I sense murderous intent. Who's doing it? <coughs> oh, that's me. What now? That's a lot of Sir Mao's. This again? Dad. Dad? Do you think they're talking about Sir Mal's father? Dad! No, Daddy! No! Dad! Be quiet! Shut up! How annoying with your dad, dad rant! I'll beat you all for this! Apparently, Mal has daddy issues. Well, I mean, not that that wasn't obvious, but. Attack! 
forgive me. As sad as, as chapter 8 of the original Disgaea. For some overload. This game predicted the sky of five. <laughs> but I don't think there's a character with an overload that's quite like that. The, you know, details. Just as I expected. Magic Knight! that just now? They were all saying dad. I think they were calling for the overlord. Seeing Mao's reaction <coughs> they related to the injury in his heart. Not that I would know. I know nothing about Mao. He tries to be serious about opening his heart in silly ways, but he has it tightly shut inside. I wonder what he really wants. No! Who cares about his heart? The princess is here, and I don't have time. I'll pry open his heart if I have to. Yeah! We turned his avid love for hot sauce into hate. If we can change his heart, opening it should be easy. Which reminds me, those daddy sayers were pretty similar to those hot sauce lovers. Maybe the scar in his heart does have to do with the overlord. Which means if we rid the probable causes... Yeah, that's it. When we run into anything that looks like a cause, we'll beat it and change his heart. Fake hero? Fake hero? Must forever be my servant. Oh, yeah, I promised him. It was supposed to be a lie, but I made a promise. No, it was a promise to a demon. Mao doesn't uh -oh. keep promises, and he said he didn't believe me anyway. 
Even the superhero says a hero must abide by the rules of his location, which means there are exceptions. That's right. If he can have a change of heart with something I did, then it can't be that important anyway. And most importantly, this is for the princess. If I can die for her, I can do anything else for her. All the swords. There we go. Save the game because we are coming up on a boss. Psycho room. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Hmm. I can't find anything that might be related to the Overlord. Maybe it's hidden deep inside, and it might be an important part of his heart, so I shouldn't change that. No, 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 no! I just told myself that I'm doing this for the princess! What's with my lack of courage? <laughs> That's... Dad! Whoa, this looks super important. Perfect timing. For what? Oh, nothing. It's still so huge. Oh, dear me! There's an overlord inside his heart? Demons truly are strange organisms. Or fall. It spoke! What did it say? It's your fault! Your fault! Uh-oh. I think I'm starting to see what happened to Mal's dad. Hmm. He's blaming Mal? But why? I'd get it if Mal was blaming him for the games, but this is the other way around. But this presence, this must be Mao's heart scar. If we beat this overlord like the hot sauce lovers, his trauma should disappear too. Erasing a mental scar should be a good thing for Mao too. And that's good enough for me. Lord Mao, let's defeat this overlord. <laughs> You're aggressive all of a sudden. Well, he seems a little easier than the real one, so I thought it might be good practice. You're right. Hearing his voice makes me sick to my stomach. Let's make sure he can't speak a word after this. A father versus son battle? What true demons you are. This may be my chance to find your weaknesses. I'm in too. Overlord, round two. His fingers are level 26. Same strategy as before, mostly. He does have mega spells now instead of, uh, instead of normal spells. Piercing rank F. I am not using that. Smell you later. Here I go. Power to me. Here I go. Leave it to me. Here I go. Huh! <laughs> 
Attack Punisher! A century killer. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> Annie, you are so silly. Yeah, that's something I'm glad to Sky of 5 fix, that you could magic change with anybody. Who is in need of levels right now? Sapphire. This might be cake. Oh, no. Sorry, Sapphire. <coughs> well, that was disappointing. I was expecting it to be super strong. No, no. The real Overlord is nothing like this. He's much more. Shh. Wait. Your fault. Hmm, it revived. Why won't you die? But we just beat him. Why? Is it that strongly attached to Mal's heart? This is getting us nowhere. Is there anything else we can... <laughs> hey, a gigantic power plug? Huh? Where are you That's going, just Almas? Silly. Just over there. Just over there. plug is connected to the socket. Hmm, could this be? Yep, it's connected to the Overlord. This is his power source. Could this be a trap, maybe? It won't just stop by unplugging this, will it? There's no use thinking it over. I'm gonna unplug it with the courage I get from the princess. Stop moving! We won! Human intellect and courage saves the day! Now Mal's trauma will disappear! What's wrong, Sir Mal? You don't look happy. Come, Princess! Let's hurry into the depths! Once I retrieve the title of hero, it's goodbye to this place! Oh, sure. Yay! The heart is open! Just as I thought! I saw that the heart was forced open, so it was your doing. Oh, another Sir Mao! Should we defeat him also? No, this one's okay! I think. Can I look around inside the vault? Now that it's open, I have no power to stop you. Do as you wish. Then I think I will. Huh? Where's the title? Mao, where did you put it? Mao, maybe this was a good thing for us after all. It's not a true solution, but... Huh? What? Oh, there it is. Hero Almaz. That was sort of a gamble, you see. Please, understand what this means. Ah, uh, my good old handmade title. Right, I'm gonna hurry out and go back to normal. Goodbye, Netherworld! Looks like he's beyond communicating with me. Today's 10 gents, Space Detective Pretty Mask. He's renovating. Hey there, Barrel. Sure are there. And looking cute. title of hero right in front of my very own eyes this isn't a dream is it now i can go back to being human i can finally introduce myself proudly before the princess sir mal 
All right, and now my homemade title of hero will become... Wait a minute, Almas. Sir Mal seems to be acting strange. Huh? Blue. Blue? Babu. <laughs> Babu? What's wrong with you, Lord Mal? Young master. Babu. This is... How dare you do such a terrible thing in here? What do you mean? The young master has regressed back to being an infant. What in the world did you do inside his heart? Nice job breaking it, hero. We just healed his trauma. It must have been, must have been more than trauma, and an important part of the young master that he relied on to be a demon. And because he's lost that, the demon that his mind supported, nay, everything, has been lost. You mean his dad had that big of a presence inside Mao? Tell me, what have you done? Not only are you useless, fake hero, you are causing extra trouble! I'm sorry, but there was no other way. Unless we heal the heart back to normal, the young master will never recover. Never? Babu! Babu! Though self-proclaimed, how could a hero think only of his own interests? It seems recent heroes have gone down in quality. <coughs> I suggest you toss that title in the trash where it belongs. Well, what should I do? Bad Mal? Bamboo. Oh, there, there. Huh? What's wrong, Sir Mal? You want to go for a walk? Eh, sadly, his unit health doesn't change. Oh no, the dark hero. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, I better heal. What have I done? I was blinded by the title and destroyed Mao's mind. Now it's like, who's the real demon here? Bamboo. Yeah, I have to turn Mal back to normal. If things stay like this, I won't feel human in my heart. Even with the title, I can't be proud to be a hero. Bamboo. I have to go into his heart immediately. Bamboo. Oh, there, there. <gasps> what now, Sir Mal? Are you hungry? As a matter of fact, I smell something toasty and savory. Ah, uh, but I need to free the princess from this dangerous nether <coughs> as soon as I can. Someone tell me, what am I supposed to do? Your current mindset is nasty, tasteless, boom! Hey there, Shampoo. That voice, could it be Mr. Champloo? 
I can see the doubt in your heart. Being unable to decide on a single dish will make all the dishes cold. Chasing after two hairs will get you none. Will you neglect the dish you should be eating and ruin everything? Teacher, what is this weirdo talking about? I agree that it must sound strange, but to that man, my words should be piercing through like a peeled onion. Doubt in the heart is doubt in taste. To abandon a friend and call yourself a hero hurts my side like food poisoning. Friend? But I must protect the princess. <laughs> you little coward! You're using me as an excuse? I didn't think you were that miserable. But princess, huh? My voice won't come out. A hero must answer the call of the voiceless voices. Huh? Why does the princess know the oaths of a hero? Will you abandon Sir Mal, who can't even speak? Shouldn't a true hero save every suffering soul without hesitation to see what is right and not do what is cowardice? I will save Sir Mal alone. I can't abandon a classmate in danger. What? Princess? Alone? Babu! Oh, no need to thank me. I am guilty of wanting to see more of the inside of a demon's heart. But that is a secret. Sir Mal, you wait here. I will leave this pitiful, unreliable man behind and go on alone. Ah, she called me pitiful. I'm done for. Please let me die. I, I, I came to slap some spirit into you, but that girl beat me to it. Truly a promising student. <coughs> it's over. I can't go on anymore. I, 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 a pitiful and unreliable man. There's nothing wrong with that. Boy, now is your chance. For what? An empty stomach is the best spice. That girl's heart is hungry right now. You must observe what she desires. When you see what she wants, even if it's a crumb of a cracker, it will be the best feast to cure her hunger. Wait, I don't get it. What's not to get? That girl hopes for you to stand with courage like the high heat on the stove. What? That's impossible. A pitiful, unreliable guy like me is, at best, low heat for simmering. Fool! Stir-frying on low heat for fear of burning will only yield you watery slop! Do not fear the flames! The pan over high heat is what makes a delicious and crisp vegetable stir-fry. Boom! What the lady hopes for is not a man who will take her away from the flame, or in other words, danger. She awaits a true man who will jump into the fire and save her from those dangers. So that's what it was? The princess sensed my hesitation and purposely said those harsh words. Ah, how stupid could I be? I didn't even notice her grateful words of inspiration. I'm truly a lucky man to have the princess hoping for my help. Thank you very much, teacher. No, let me call you master. All right, now listen, boy. As long as you live, you will run into doubts. You need not stress over them. Do not let your opportunity slip away. Time will change the taste. Hesitating may burn the dish and ruin everything. Follow the path of taste. Young one, go forth on high heat. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going after her. Princess, please wait for me. Bam, boo. Huh? Don't tug at my clothes, Mal. What? You need to go pee? <laughs> Mal, I can't bear seeing you like this. What in the world happened here? You're supposed to be my rival. Miss Barrel? Fake hero, will Mal be back to normal? Yes, I'll do everything I can to turn him back. Are you going to come with us? <coughs> I think Almaz is nah, starting to get it, Annie. On this. I got another class soon. <laughs> and to think this is my rival. I can't watch this anymore. Huh, she's gone. All right, I need to chase after the princess. 
What? You want to come too? Pimpu! Princess! Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. Princess. I'm sure that hell strike must have hurt pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. As Yosuke would say, critical hit to the nads. Princess, I. You don't need to say anything. Let's go together. Princess, it's my fault Mal turned out like this. So why are you risking yourself by jumping into more danger? If I didn't come... But see, here you are. Isn't that enough? Princess. If you didn't come, then it would have been my fault for misjudging you. Of course, I might have gone back to slash you to pieces to vent my anger. You saved your own life. <laughs> Sapphire. Hee <laughs> hee! Princess! And did you forget why I came to the netherworld? I entered the heart for my own personal Oba -oba. reasons as well. But it's so reckless of you to want to defeat the Overlord yourself. You think so too? Of course I do. That's why I... Why you what? Uh, nothing. I can't tell her I came to defeat the Overlord for her. I got caught by a demon, was robbed of my hero title, and here I am, in a messy situation. You know, it's quite comfortable in the netherworld. Demons don't distance me from being a princess. Some even attack. Princess? No one complains that I won't stay guarded, <coughs> or I'm stronger than the knights. <laughs> I feel so lighthearted. I get along better with demons than humans. More so than I expected. Well, being Don't say the that. psycho Demons that you are, are cold and heartless kind and even try to kill why. their parents. Demons are cold and heartless, huh? Then maybe I truly am a demon. <laughs> what? I have no tears. I've never cried once in my life. I couldn't cry, even when my parents and other loved ones died. Many heroes passed away, challenging the Overlord on my behalf. But I can't shed a single tear for them, either. You see? I am heartless. There's probably no one left who would cry for me when I'm gone. That's why I decided to defeat the Overlord myself. It might simply be that I want to disappear from this world. But... It's impossible for the princess to be heartless. Even now, she looked like she was about to cry. I'm so stupid. I saw her in person and got excited and wasn't looking at the princess. I didn't know she had chosen to do this because she felt this way. How can I protect her without even recognizing her problems? Courage. A million times stronger? What? What am I? Futile revenge. Guards are tougher than before. Even though his heart's open, why? It's as if they're trying to interfere with us. I get the feeling they don't want us to set Sir Mal back to normal. Huh? Who's pulling? 
pulling on my skirt. Oh, if you lift it, it's over. I can't guarantee your life. Oh, it's you, Sir Mao. What's wrong? Oh, is that so? Looks like we're allowed to beat these guys down. Princess, you can understand what I'm saying. No, I just thought it would be a lot easier if that was the case. That's so irresponsible. Well, let you through, you. Whoa, they're coming. Yes, they even changed Mao's yeah. in battle voice clips. Smell you later. Ah. left seriously Oi. Tux learned a new attack HP left again. Video game. Good, there is Shang Long. There goes Mew Mew.
Even after that, you still have 6 HP left. What is up with these mushrooms? I think we need to put Sheng Long in the honor students group. Mal and Gary can learn new techniques now, it looks like. Boomerang Axe. Our first D power attack. because I'm pretty sure the next uh, fight is a boss. Yep, Heart Vault. Let's go. Uh, uh, the socket should be around here. There it is! There it is. Huh? The Overlord's plug is gone! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Looking for something, dearie? No use, no use, no use! The power plug is over here. Here. Another kind of Sir Mal? Well, this one seems kind of high strung. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. I'm a clone of Mal. I won't let you rescar my heart, savvy? Why don't you want to be back to normal? Why, why, why? <coughs> you ask? <coughs> Take these! Hoorah! Now, didn't that hurt? Of course! 
curse you, psycho! Right, now listen up. Scarring hurts. Only special kinds of people like pain. Normal people don't want to hurt. So you see, it's Mal's wish not to be scarred again. For a happy ending. It's for his happiness, gent and lady. That's true. Putting the trauma back into his In the Japanese uh, version again. of this, I'm pretty sure Savvy Mouse speaks in weird, anguishy phrases. Understand now? If you do, then get out! Scram! Wait! That ain't true! Hey, Beryl! <laughs> that dignified yet cutesy voice! Beryl! A scar hurts! So what? That's just an excuse to run away! Where's the happiness in that? Miss Beryl. The Mao I know isn't a weakling who'd run away just because it hurts. You're a clone of Mao, yet you don't even know that? No, shut it! Don't talk as if you know me, you... you... stranger! Mao and I are enemies. And friends. We're not strangers in the least. We've got a bond as rivals. She's right. Mao would never want to go on like this. Mao is arrogant and selfish and makes me cringe and gets excited over bizarre experiments. You're not the real Mao. Bamboo! Well said, both of you. Sir Mao is pleased as well. Ah, freaking A! What would you know? Only I know Mao's true thoughts! I won't let anyone interfere. I will personally guard Mao's heart and keep it tightly locked as is. Ugh, looks like it's impossible to solve this one through negotiations. But I can't give up here, or else it'd be meaningless of me to have boycotted my precious oh, class. Oh, snap. Beryl is skipping class. This is pretty serious. Did you say boycott? Speaking of which, today's class, who cares about me? More importantly, get mounted. Oh, our lady has ditched a class for the first time since school began. How is this going to set an example? <coughs> oh, Kyoko, you dummy! Don't you think it's even more delinquent to rush to a rival's aid than to go to class? Girls? After all those times I told you not it's to Like come the saying me. goes, if your if your goat falls into a well on the Sabbath, won't you try to pull it out? Miss Beryl, you really do care for Mal. <laughs> my rival's in this situation. I can't just sit around watching. Though, I lost my perfect attendance. I wouldn't say that's true. A mixture of various spices combined to form an aromatic symphony? Could this game predicted this guy a five! Could it be? <laughs> no need to worry about your perfect attendance. Let me guess, you got class yes, cancelled for today. Raspberry, number one delinquent of the academy. You girls shall become the first ever graduates in school history. Whack. Graduates? You dudes went to class so much, you've got enough units to graduate already. Or, <laughs> dude. But they haven't even attended the school for a whole year. The academy figured the best way to get rid of them. <laughs> 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 so that's it. Care to relish in the delicacy of the season? We will now commence graduation. <laughs> Savvy Mao is just standing speech. there in the background. Always kind to everyone. We're Miss Beryl and friends. We were invited to volunteer work. And we're very annoyed. The end. Dude. Wasn't that a little short? <laughs> Next up is our reply speech. Let's do it, Kyoko, Suka. On this glorious and unlucky day, we look back on our lives like the flashbacks before our deaths. A teacher was eaten during, during a field, field trip. trip. We watched blood vessels pop during athletic events. On orientation day, we, we found, found a mummy of a student. student. We will hold dear our memories.
memories of this school and prepare to depart. Please watch over us from within your graves. Representing the graduating class, Rasbell. That was a very mm, Japanese such graduation. A fly address, as if it was practiced routinely. Of course it was. We trained rigorously for the day when we might be able to graduate. Graduation speech practiced within months of starting school? Such peculiar preparation. I should learn from you. Hmm. Evil Academy's first graduating class, Rasbarrel. You fulfilled your units to graduate. Surprisingly, congratulations! <laughs> and the same to the rest of you. Here are your graduation diplomas. Take them while they're fresh. This is the graduation diploma I've always dreamed of. We've accomplished an achievement no one has ever done. My lady, we no longer have classes or curfews. We're free to save others to our heart's content. Your perfect attendance shall continue to shine radiantly throughout the history of this school. The, the savvy Mao is still standing there in the background. We leave the rest to you, Rasbarrel. Yes, I have no regrets now. Now, I'll turn you back to normal. No! I won't let you! You were waiting during the whole graduation ceremony? That was awfully <laughs> considerate of you. Here we go. Ally damage, 20%. Teleport. Ha. Really? Ha. I think Shang Long needs a new f fist. Hi. Okay. Uh-oh. We got problematic. Let's go. They're as high a level as Gary, which is pretty great. Class change. <laughs> you ready? Good day. Hi. This is nothing. That looked painful. Poison arrow! Do you understand? What to do? Lily Allergy.
Here I go! Get everybody some healing. Dear God. Can we do it? Do it! Do it! Dear God. Way to go, Carmen. Hey, boy. Hey. Yeah! Sapphire gets some levels. Oh yeah, Sapphire's ability, Princess Glitter, increases stats of adjacent male ally units by 20%. Which is a pretty solid buff if you ask me. White Lily Dance, speed increased by 30% when HP is max. Nadeshko's form. Attack increased by 30% when HP is max. Dear God! Stats of allies on map increased by Organization. I believe that club earns more money on units that are situated in the back of the room. <coughs> How's that? Feel the power of my fists now Don't you use a book as a weapon barrel? Now, plug the cord into the socket. 
Wait, please, before that. Huh? Where are you going? Ah, you again. What are you here for now? This. My title of hero. I'm putting it back in the vault. Why? I have no right to call myself a hero right now. Well, it's not like I had any right to do so before. But anyway, it was my fault Mal ended up this way. So if I'm ever gonna call myself a hero again, it'll be when Mal's heart opens up the proper way. So, I'll entrust this title to you. Is that so? But if you lag around too long, you'll turn into a real demon. Hmm. No matter what trouble awaits, a hero must stand, face forward, against it. It's easy to quit here and now, but to open Mal's heart, I need to find my own courage. I need to show him a real hero's heart, or else Mal will probably never open up. I'm gonna do this, before I fully turn into a demon. I promise to become a real hero! I'm impressed, and I want to help you become that great hero! Princess? <laughs> I see you in a new light. You are a hero after all. Now, you better <laughs> give me an autograph. <laughs> Sir Hero, though what little we can do, please let us help too. It's a dream come true to join a <laughs> hero's party. Welcome aboard, ladies. Thank you, everyone. Raspberry is best. overpowered. Bamboo! Hmm? What's that, Mal? This title? Bamboo? Yep, I'm gonna put this title back into the vault. Until the day you open your heart. Until the day I become a real hero. You hold on to this title for me. 302 hours until Alma is into a demon. Mal, son of the Overlord, and Sapphire, a simple but pretty high school girl. Two such people bump heads at a street corner so hard, the collision ends up swapping their souls. Now what? Me? A high school girl? High school life as a girl has got Mao tossing around out of control. Oh, how terribly nasty these beautiful friendships can be in the Garden of Hell. Isn't all girls' school that dangerous of a place? Will Mal be able to pass himself off as a true high school girl? And what about his destiny? Can I choose to go back to normal? Next time on Mal Confessions of Another School Girl, last episode, I Am You, Awaken to a Whole New World. Don't write any endings like that again. It'll never happen. Oh man, stuff be going on. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? I feel really bad for what I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No wonder my memory feels all fuzzy. What did you do to me? I won't get mad if you tell me. <coughs> Did you get aliens to implant a microchip inside my brain? Or maybe you stole my memories through acupuncture! <laughs> Either way, it's amazing! You get excited even when you're the one being experimented <laughs> Ah, you've returned, young master. I'm glad you're safe. I've been waiting for you. What's wrong, Jeffrey? You look pale. Did you not receive your pension? <laughs> a serious occurrence befell the Academy. A frightful catastrophe has occurred. Let me guess. The layout of the school changed due to renovations. Don't tell me the ball cut is becoming a major... <laughs> <laughs> I've long feared its revival. Seriously? Whoa. I've never seen anyone with a bowl cut. That is slightly better than this. You shall see for yourself what is going on at Evil Academy right now. Wait. Is there something <coughs> else? I took a look inside my heart. Seems you've been doing experiments on me without my permission. <laughs> so it did bother you. Oh, you remember those now. 
It was all for your own good, young master. <laughs> if you taped it, give it to me later. Watching myself being experimented on is unexpectedly quite exciting. Well, this is so messed <laughs> up. You shall most enjoy it. Hmm. You're a commendable <laughs> Thank you, Sapphire. <laughs> it seems the young master has begun to doubt me. <laughs> this is a good sign. I would greatly appreciate it if he can rise to an honor student level where he won't hesitate to kill me. So, Jeffrey wants Mal to kill him out of revenge for killing Mal and all of his friends. This is the true plot of the video Demons game. Demons must relish solitude. Or something. Do not forget this. Chapter 5. Chapter five Grand oh. War. Going to war. Whoa, the layout of the school did change. We are going to check every check all this out in the next episode. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I know this went on for a while, but totally awesome thinking I might end up doing some rapid fire streams since I got a really long weekend so yeah I'll see everybody tomorrow if you're all around